Hello, and welcome back to a Neo Modded Terraria adventure. We're back again. Um, again, last episode, all the blooming talking went off, which I do apologize for, and I have realized it's daytime, which I'm actually going to seize the moment to fight Scarabus in Fancy Death to get the quest and maybe get something else. Sands can spider as if in deserts roaming around at night with other tiny insects come to eat. When the hot day arrives, the spider will burrow under the sand to sleep. Yes, I like bugs. Cool. What do you sell that's new? Chalice fragments, maybe? That looks new. Holding your hand will point to an ancient structure. Oh, fancy. I'm guessing that's the new thing. Okay, let's kick off with a scarabus fight then. But like, yeah, last episode we finally fought Blooming Giant Clam. It was long overdue. Okay. And we're still... I need to save up loads of money to get this thing that the mutant sells as well. Uh, again, long overdue. <laughs> okay. Ow. Okay, here we go. Okay, so it might just be good to maybe buy. But everyone is so tough now. Look how long it's taken to kill this vulture. Okay, this might actually be tough. I may have anticipated this one. Okay. Hang on. Um, okay, let's quickly score two can die. Squirrel guy. Ouch! Okay. Get rid of this insect. I can't believe this, like Hump Master was so scared of this insect. Like, he's scary, he's big, but he's not like threatening, I would say. Right? Everyone could agree on me with that, right? Oh my gosh. Yes, he's the king of This is good. Sand bacon? What the hell? Sand bacon. Okay, try a bit of. This might shock you. Ha ha ha. Pun. Okay, get out of here. Right. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Try this on for something hot, I guess. Yeah. Bro is missing badly, though, to be fair. If he does that drop again. Drop. Drop. There we go. Come on. Nice one. Okay, I think we've got this in the bag. I don't want to say anything too soon. Come on! 2016! Boom! And that was a personal record! Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, um, let's get out of scary mode. Wait, let me crack open the loot box first. I'm still waiting for a trophy, just one trophy. Yep, nothing. No trophy. Okay. We've got Godly Sunrise Scepter though, because there's a slow, controllable summer. Oh, fancy. And then more chitin. Did I even look at what chitin does actually? To be fair. Um, okay, we've got this though. That can just sit there. That is cool. That is really cool. Okay. Um, and we've got everything else before. That's a bit of a nuisance. Okay, hang on. Um, sunrise. Godly. What an upgrade. Jeez. Okay. Chitin. Let's see what this does first. Um, because it may corrupt the cool armor set. You never know. Um... I think I, I did look at it briefly, but I've just completely forgotten what its uses. Okay, hang on. Hello. Lift, please. Um, okay, Gilded Scarab. Again, hit provides some increase. Okay, we don't need the armor set. Crook of the Tormented. Uh, we don't really need that, that much, actually, to be fair. What's the pickaxe like? 55 against 55. Okay. Yeah, we don't really need it. Damn, but I mean, we've got it. I don't know, we feel spontaneous enough. Okay, um, let me quickly pop down. Wait, I've gone, <laughs> I've gone the wrong way. Uh, right, chuck that in there then. And we're good for that. Lovely stuff. Um, now I don't really know the plan for today, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, uh, we could... Hmm, who's actually the next boss to fight? Glomoth. Secrets of the Shadows. Ooh. In a glowing mushroom moment, disturb a glow silk cocoon or awaken manually using a blah blah blah. Ah. Okay. Um. Why is Scarabus like lightning? Is it because we've got a new record? So that's the end, that's the master mode drop. Uh, that one there. So we need to get that in a sec. It's cool how everyone is at master mode drop. And we're still missing like half the set. A bit embarrassing, isn't it? Um. Right, let me just clear some stuff. I I need to... There's still so much to build as well. We've got a lot on the agenda. It's because bosses keep on randomly appearing. I, I haven't been able to control them because they just keep on saying hi at awkward moments. Especially when me and Blazing Tomorrow were doing the episode. The amount of times this, this these bosses appeared. Especially the Keeper. I lost like all the thunder. It just arrived out of nowhere. 
Okay, white pearls, the thing we got dropped that dropped as well. Um It's all late game as well. Saren's pearl. Oh that's cool, he's got she's got summon now. Um that's a luck potion. Oh fancy. Magic country we've already got as well. It's that heart scale. Don't even I don't actually know where half this stuff's come from. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is the squirrel so close to death? This poor squirrel cannot catch a break. Like, it's the only one that dies constantly as well. I feel so bad. Okay, where's... Where's it gone? Where's it gone? There it is. And then... Earthen plating, is it here? Yes. Lovely. Um, right, I guess I should clump all of the... Okay, we could do more quests today, actually. I don't really know what to do this episode. <laughs> Might have been able to spot that. Um, right, bin that. But let's quickly speak to the quest book. Okay, so... Completed sinister sands. Um, so we now get sounds of time. Oh, that's the drop. Oh, that's that's sick. Sweet. Okay, that's another drop. Is it consumable? Just twenty mana. Um, can't do anything with it. Do I have to be in the desert? I mean, there was already a sandstorm going on, so it might not want me to speak to it. Let's have a look. Let's have a quick look. Unless I don't, I literally don't have enough mana to do it. That is sick. That is so cool. Alright, that's awesome. Uh, nice little drop there. So that's another thing done, which is good. Another drop done. I, I don't know why, but I'm going to try and collect as much as I can with the drops again. I know it's such a stupid war I, I put out. <laughs> but I don't know, it just feels somewhat important. Okay, um, there we go. There's that. So we've got I've Cthulhu, Keeper, and a Giant Clam, clam Shrine again. Because there is actually a guy living down there, isn't it? Yeah. God, that biome looks massive. Okay. A Midas the Sea King. I mean, to be fair, I remember that guy being a bit of a nuisance. Maybe he should just chill down there forever. <laughs> um, right. Next quest then. Yeah, we'll just do quests. So I do have a lot to catch up on. Um, explore the Crimson. Yeah, that's an easy one. We can do that. Capture one Lumoth. Or talk to the merchant about Lumoth's... There's so many quests. Retrieve one life crystal. See, some of these I should have already done. Kill two screech owls. Well, that's a fancy set of drops. Flowery fiends. Kill 12 throw shamblers. So this is all spirit mod, isn't it? Kill the occultist. Oh, and he drops more stuff. Is the, the occultist was like a mini boss, though, isn't he? Why is he getting, like, cool boss drops? <laughs> and holy undertaking. The mysterious scroll. So that's, that's going to be Urhan, isn't it? Right. Right. Uh, maybe. I'm not too sure. Craft one naturalist workshop. Oh. You get right runestone, fracture stone, fragstone, fancy. Okay, wrapped up as well. It's a bit of a quest. Okay, I'll do body horrors. Just get that one done. Explore the crimson. So you're planning on sending them in the world for a while, huh? Got a lot of experience to do before we can grasp this region. We need to know how dangerous the Crimson Fields are. I'm not strong enough, so you'll need to handle this alone. If you can survive there, you can explore the other territories the adventure mentioned in his journal. Activate that. And I will also activate... Should I activate that one? I guess I should. Apparently I'm a Timbo Slime. <laughs> um, if you want to stay alive and keep exploring this world with my help, of course, you'll need to make sure you ha you're hale and hearty. Get it? You'll need to head underground to retrieve a heart crystal or two. Uh, it will give you the boost you need. After that, you should be able to try out some more difficult quests that they eventually left behind. Okay, activate that as well. Um, let's quickly go to the Crimson. Um, it's a bit annoying because I've retrieved all the heart crystals I need. So I think it's just when I'm down there, I'll be like, oh, hey, heart crystal. Um, I'm just trying to think of where we should put a giant clam like shrine as well. Is there, is there any, not much space anywhere? I mean, to be fair, I did build a, quite a good shrine last time. I really quite like that one. Uh, it was a really tiny house, but it did like all the navy stone and stuff. Yeah, we'll give it another go. Oh my god, things keep on dropping. I need to take that thing the dryad sells. Thing is that's worrying me is that I have to buy one for animals and then one for plants. I'm gonna end up like with a fallen tree with that. So it'll never be able to leave. Um Oh the poor squirrel is still there. To be fair, it's pretty cool how he doesn't despawn the squirrel. Okay. Just meander through. Across here, and then 
going up the pyramids of the Scarabus pin is so cool. <laughs> it's the best. Come on. But it's just whenever you hit any other, like, two block jump, you just slow down instantly. <laughs> Sad times. Just need to see the crimson, really. Right. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay, now let's speed up. This is the other pyramid. So this is the actual... I think this pyramid's going to be a bit like the Lizard dungeon. There we go. Okay, the percentage is going up. Do I just have to, like, fly across the whole line? I actually do. <laughs> Come on. The crimson has now... Oh my gosh. The crimson has now been explored. <laughs> That's sick. Okay, I've got loads of other quests now. That's great. Okay, let me run back. I must say, this side of the inventory is looking amazing. Look how clean it is. Okay, let me also crack these down as well. Make it even cleaner. Okay, um... Okay, what has that done now to the quests? Okay, let me quickly yoink the powder, I guess. I don't want to really get rid of it, so I'll put it in the upstairs area. Um... Because I guess it is special. Chuck it down there. Okay, we now have even more quests. I saw, like, at least five arrive. Okay, we've got... Oh, gosh. Explore a luminous ocean at the beach. Oh, they've said about that before, actually. Music box. Cartographer's map. Um, explore the asteroid field. Above one of the oceans. Oh, there's another biome. That's sick. Explore Cranite Caverns. That seems pretty cool. Um, I swear they give you the music box in like, every quest as well. Explore Giant Beehives. Explore Marble Caverns. Explore Glowing Mushroom Fields. Places or moves a blue map pin. Mushroom Grass Seeds. Oh, they're actually really rare to get. I'll take them. Completed Surveyor's Scroll. Oh, that's cool. Got top of his map gold coin. God, there's so many quests. To be fair, we've already had a good crack. Like, looking at all of this, this is only like, this is like half. It's not too bad. Right. How long have we been going for? 12 minutes. I have actually, I'm a bit lost on what to do. I think I'll get Blazing Smart on for the next episode. Because we've got more building and I really don't want Blazing Smart to just be the builder. Um, so we'll probably, maybe we could try, we could try and get money. That'd be a cool episode, actually. Wait, hang on. <laughs> okay, we're trying to get money. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Okay, but I'm on 16. I don't know. Blazing Spider did just pop these out at the end of the episode. Is this enough? Could this be enough? It might not be enough. 32, though. That's a good, good start. Money is really, really not too bad here. So we need that one. 89. And there was something that was selling for... 16, but I can't remember what it was. What was it? Something was selling for 16. Oh. Uh, gold. Something was selling for so much, and I remember it. Mm, that's strange. Oh, it was a block, wasn't it? Oh, if only I could rent that. That'd be amazing. Okay, um, thank you, Blazing Smoke, for the coins. If you do want them back, just shout. Um, I sort of put 9 or 16, so... I've already forgotten the number, but there's video evidence of what number I started on. <laughs> right. I must say, this part here is actually looking really cosy. I think I might build a shrine here. So we have a little staircase here. Maybe build that up by one and then there. It's really, uh, it's quite nice that that's on like a hill as well. Um, it still looks a bit skew whip though. I don't know if I like, like if I like it with this. What I might do is place, let me place some bricks. Uh, like three bricks right on that side to kind of make it look like it kind of turns into that area because it looks a bit clunky at this spot here. So if I place a brick there, there, that looks better, I think. And then uh, if I place, um, does that look so well better? I think so. It looks more like transitional now. Yeah, yeah, that looks cooler. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do a few more Minecraft episodes because again, I'm a bit of a gridlock with fear. I need more blazing tomato advice. Um, and we need more houses built as well. I don't know where we would build an Eye of Cthulhu house. I guess because it's going to be in the air. Um, we could do like a sunken eye maybe. Maybe we could have it next to King Slime. Or to have it there would be cool. Because we've got a tall thing there. I'm going to count that as a tall thing here. 
a tall thing there and then a tall thing there. That's cool. It's so cool. These, to be fair, I do want to do loads of tall buildings because they look amazing. To be f actually, you know what? Oh, that looks like that actually looks like an acorn on the map. That looks sick. I've never realised that. Screw sculpture. <laughs> wow. You know, I'm at this. Is, I think we've actually got a village now. It looks amazing. That also looks like a smiley face. <laughs> awesome then. What's going on? Why is the mutant being just bullied? What is going on in there? Okay. Okay. Um, I also do need to fix some of these beans as well, but let's do it for another day. Right then, thumbnail. Uh, what do I even do a thumbnail of? To be fair, I haven't actually done a thumbnail with Blazing Tomatoes Desert Sculpture, so I'll, I'll do that. Uh, and we have, we did start off doing desert stuff, so I'll just call it like desert something or whatever. Who knows? Right. Here we go. That looks sick. That looks so cool, Blazing Tomato. I'm still fighting for these blooming trophies, though. I, the house isn't looking so bad without the trophies. Um, so, yeah, I think next time Blazing Tomatoes on as well, we can do Desert Scourge, Eternity Death. We just need money. To be fair, actually, Desert Scourge is the money maker, isn't he? But he's still quite a tough fight right now. I've never actually seen Blazing, Tom Blazing Tomato. <laughs> but Desert Scourge is, like, too much of a tough fight. Uh, but we'll see. And I need more living wood, the living firewood, which is hard mode for that torch to light. I guess that's the whole kind of vibe, isn't it? To wait for the lit torch. Um, right then, I'll end it there then. So anyway then, hope you enjoyed this today then. Be sure to like, subscribe. Join the Discord, links in the description. And me, and this sunrise, sun, set, sunlight night. Sunny, okay, lantern night, let's just go with. We'll see you all next time then. See ya!